So the Amazon rainforest, as we all know, is a rich haven of the planet's biodiversity. It's also a great store of carbon in the trees. And it's an amazing system where the forest recycles the water and actually creates its own rainfall by the time you get into the interior of Amazonia and Brazil. Our concern is that the Amazon rainforest could reach a, a tipping point where it essentially dies back and is replaced by a, a savanna, a mixture of, of scattered trees in a grassland. We see this happening in some of our global climate models as we see current trends of the region getting drier and experiencing more extreme summer droughts. They become the norm and it gets dry enough and the dry season gets long enough that the trees simply can't survive. Another concern that we see in our climate models is that if the Amazon disappears, this disrupts the climate in quite different parts of the world. It, it leads to some reorganization of the way that the atmosphere circulates and with some hard to predict but quite significant um, effects at a distance. In our most recent work, we've looked at the possibility that the droughts that have been seen most recently in the Amazon in 2005, that a state of emergency was declared because there was an extreme drought. We now think that the, that sort of drought might become the norm by 2025, and that even before the forest might die back, there will be considerable effects of more frequent and extreme droughts on both the people and the ecosystem of the region.